So, what's going on guys, Katie's here, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's one I'll show you the Korean Savage, new Warzone settings, keybands, sensitivity, best loadout, what peripherals he's using, and much more. If you're interested in that, sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. Then going over to the first things first are his controller settings. I don't have a PS4 controller on me, so for my BR button layout I couldn't choose this option, so here it is edited into the video. So, for BR button layout, he's using stick and move flip. Stick layout preset is default. Invert vertical lock is disabled and dead zone is 0.05. Horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity, both those are on 6. ADS sensitivity multiplier, low zoom is on 0.98 and ADS multiplier for high zoom is on 1.02. Aim response curve type is dynamic and controller vibrations are enabled. Then for his weapon settings, Aim assist is on standard, scale aim assist with FOV is enabled, weapon mount activation is on ADS plus melee, weapon mount movement exit is on enabled, aim downside behavior is on hold, equipment behavior is on hold as well, use slash reload behavior is on contextual tap, and depleted ammo weapon switch is enabled. And then last but not the least are his movement settings, for slide behavior he has tap, auto move forward and automatic sprint. Both of them are disabled, vehicle camera recenter and parachute auto deploy. Both of them are enabled. Then moving over to general settings, for field of view he's using 60, which he obviously cannot change because he's playing on a console. ADS field of view is independent, for brightness he's using 64.00, horizontal heads up display and vertical heads up display, both of them are on 100, and for HUD settings, his minimap shape is on square and minimap rotation is enabled. Then going over to his favorite loadout, as all of you know, the Korean Savage main YouTube objective is to make a new video every single day using a new loadout, so I will not show you all the 30 loadouts that he has played last 30 days, but this is his most used and favorite one. So his primary weapon is the Growl and secondary weapon is the MP5, for perks he is using EOD, Overkill and Amped. Lethal equipment is C4 and tactical is the heartbeat sensor. Taking a closer look at his growl setup, for barrel he is using the Tempus 26.4 Archangel, laser is attack laser, optic is the sniper scope, ammunition is 60 round magazine, and rare grip is the XRK Void 2. As I previously mentioned, he likes to make unique loadouts and experiment with them, but I would for sure not recommend to play and use them. In my personal opinion, you shouldn't use a single gun without the monolithic suppressor, but here it is. And then for his secondary weapon, he's using the MP5. For barrel, he has the monolithic integral suppressor. Stock is the FTAC collapsible. Under barrel is Maris Force Grip. Ammunition is 45 round magazine. And rare grip is the granulator grip type. Having said that, now we have come to the last part, which are his main gaming peripherals. So for his monitor, he's using the BenQ Zovi RL2455T. For his controller, he's using the normal PS4 default controller with the red skin. Not specifically this one, which you can see in the screenshot, but really close enough. And last but not the least is his headset, which is the HRO A40s. And that's basically it. I have researched about 40 to 50 different Warzone players, and this player was one of the hardest ones to find out things about. He rarely makes a settings video and a gaming setup one. He doesn't stream and none of the websites tell anything about him. So just keep in mind that. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below any suggestions, future video improvements, or maybe next YouTuber or streamer that I should cover and make a video about. Appreciate it for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. My name is Kate, you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, peace.